welcome to the final round and we are potentially chasing down a difficult score and the reason being we've had a very very rough start we're about 18 points lower than yesterday and pretty much we've had a tough tough time race number two in hungary we pitted hamilton late like in terms of late i mean pitting right at the pit pentry and he decided to go round and then never even came in the bits. So he did a whole lap with no tyres. Annoying, and that's what caused us the drop in points. Race three was just Austin and a shambles. And then race four, we were on for some good points. But somebody knocked the door. So I had to go and leave my phone and answer that. So we're up against it. We've got David and Toma, P1, P2 at the moment. Hopefully we can get on the podium though. We're going to try our hardest. We've got to... <sighs> race number five. Come on, Bahrain. So, moving on to race number five. I'm not even going to give myself much pressure because there's not a lot we can actually do having scored what we've scored so far. And, yeah, we're just going to have to try. And let's see where we qualify here. And pretty decent position for Hulkenberg as normal. Hamilton right out the back, though. P19. That is horrible for a position. We're going to go Copper, and we're going to go Herald as well. Reason being, we want the race start to be the best it can on Hulkenberg. So, we need 47 points here. Can we get it? And we've got a real player to add to the fun and the games of final round. And Hulkenberg has got a decent start. He's let the rival come through the inside, but does manage to then get ahead. And Hawkenberg swinging through the middle, finds himself in P3. What has happened to Hamilton? Hamilton down in P14 as Hawkenberg hits the front. So brilliant start on Hawk. We're going to leave Hamilton running, see if we can get into the top 10 on this lap. So Hamilton's gone a bit backwards. Rival can only really do two laps on that medium tyre. Remember, basically in this race, because of the weather... The mediums almost become the softs in terms of tyre management. So down the straight we go. Still plenty of room to make positions up. We definitely need 40, 45 maybe. And Hawkenberg gets through. And what's he on? He's on the softs. So we won't worry too much about that. And we'll just look after our tyres. Hamilton's just really going backwards. Perez comes through on the soft tyres. We'll get him back. It doesn't matter too much. And hopefully that Hawkenberg in front of us will now pit. And they don't, they carry on. Rival doesn't pit. Doesn't look like he's got a lot of tyres left at all either. As we get up into P9, Hamilton starting to make his way through the field. And he'll be coming in for some medium running. Let's push Hamilton. And let's push Hawkenberg as well. Rival's about to run out of tyres. I'm sure he's conserving as hard as he can now. As Hamilton gets into P6. Here's that medium tyre. P5 for ourselves now. It's Hawkenberg. You can see the speed. Absolutely flying. Rivals out of tyres. And that's okay. Because we'll take full advantage. As Nico Hawkenberg leaves the pits. We'll boost him for a second or two. And cut down. What about Hamilton? He's got Hawkenberg in front. We've got the carnage of the pits. And we will keep boosting. We'll use all of these percentages that we've got. And we will just get past the Aston Martin. So P9. Problem is, no power unit left. And that's what we've got to manage now until the soft's at the end. So Rival's pushing pretty hard on that medium tyre. We've got Hawkenberg doing okay on his own. Doing more than okay. We've undervalued that. Rival still pushing hard. And he'll get past us, but that's okay. I'll take... We're going to have to take 40 plus here every day of the week. So if we can get that, we'll be okay. What are we on at the moment? 41, so that's okay. Well, We look set with Hulkenberg. We don't really need to bother with him too much now. As we do get Perez. Nice little, nice little move. Can we get Norris as well? 
and we can up to p6 and we can come in with hulk so we're going to come in for softs at the end of this lap hopefully we can earn enough power unit to really have a go at the rival and let's just push because i think he's conserving so let he, let's push indeed i think we're already through we are p5 got more power unit than him as well so this could be a decent little race to finish these few laps rival says well done and we do get hulk back out so hulk looks pretty solid we've got a few people coming out the pits as well where's he going to feed back in hamilton come on can't get alonso can we get him down into this corner here we can and what about p4 with Norris. Yes, nice and easy through. We've got P3, so chances are we're going to want this P3. We should be able to get him. The rival can push all they want. It's Hawkenberg on the softs, though, so chances are not over yet. We've got Hawkenberg flying out front. He's safe as ours is there. And then we push. Hamilton a bit more. We definitely could do with Hulkenberg. We can get him. We get up to P3. We're not going to catch the rival, I don't think. I think he's going to set for second place. And Hulkenberg wins. And in the first race of this video, it's going to be a fairly decent one. It's going to be 46 points against the real player as well, with a higher team score as well, I believe. But we manage it and we do get 46 points. So here we go in Baku. And the good thing to come out this is pretty much I can't beat David now. So if it is just me and David left at the top, David's going to get his first P1. But there is plenty of competition below still. So let's see in this race. 13th Hawkenberg, 19th Hamilton. And we're going to stick Copper and Herald. Race start is the reason for Herald. So, can we get some good points? 47 is going to be absolutely needed in every single race. Hamilton gets that perfect start. We haven't seen that for a while. And Hawkenberg is going to do his normal start and just let everybody past and slide out the back. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Hawkenberg as we boost on this first lap. So Hamilton gets to P11. Hawkenberg starting to come back through the field now. A bit too late for that. As Hamilton gets P9. Hawkenberg P15. We needed a good start. That's the problem with Hawkenberg. His start is just so bad. Maybe we were better probably just using Norris rather than that poor race start. So down the straight we go, P8, P16, yes, P16, that is, annoyingly. So can we get through the corners? That's where we need to overtake. We're going to boost Halkenberg from there, and Russell comes flying past us. I don't get it, I don't get it, as to how we just get absolutely overtaken all the time, but we're through to P4 for Hamilton at least and just Hawkenberg's had a mare he really has had a mare we'll come into the pits and he gets overtaken again and then quickly gets packed past so difficult difficult start for Hulk and that's not too good at all for us honestly we're not going to get any decent points from there look how clear P1 and P2 are ahead of us and look at the look at the chaos in this pit lane. Jesus. Oh no. It's like F1 clash moaning on a Sunday today. As we try and get past some of these runners and we can't get past Bottas. And now we can. 
So into the pits comes Hamilton from P number three. And out we go. We can potentially rescue something with Lewis Hamilton. Can we rescue anything with the Hulk? Not many people in the pits though, as you can see. Got Sonoda there that we can get. And we're going to come back. We're going to have to pit this time as well for some mediums. So we haven't even got that much that we can gain. As we gained P12 and P11. Finally a bit of luck. As Hamilton is in P2. And into the pits then we shall come with Hawk. So he's managed to get a bit more place in. We've got Hamilton hunting down Verstappen here. And Hamilton takes the lead. Can Hawk get out fairly cleanly? He can. And it will be P16. Up to P14. We're making some more moves. Hamilton looking pretty slow in front of us. And now the Red Bull just late pitted us straight past us. Seen it all now. Seen it all. So we need to try and get past a few more cars. Hawkenberg will only improve. And he's up to P11. Hamilton right on the back of Norris. Let's boost Hawkenberg before he gets overtaken. Now, quite a few cars in front. Nobody pitting. Which is not what I want to hear, is it? P10. We definitely need 40 points here. Definitely. And what are we on? 39. 39 points at the moment. So one more position could be key. And we've got quite a few cars ahead of us. So maybe we can get a few more than just 40 points. And we get one. Can we climb past Russell? We can, finally. What about the Hulkenberg clone? We can. Oh, I thought we had him then. Thought we had him. That's why I cut down. That might cost us a point. Or oh, will it? We're up to P7. We've managed to rescue it. But what an awful race. Still, 24 points. 18 points. We do make 42. We are clutching at straws on this Sunday fun day. We move to race number 7 in Jeddah. And we're going to try something different here because we can't. We now officially can't get past David. So I'm going to just practice a few little techniques and see what happens. So 13th and 18th is where we start. And look who we've got as a bot, I believe it is. Interesting. That is for sure. So we've got gaming with King's bot. Because he's a different region, so it shouldn't be him. And I think by tyre choice, potentially. Oh, and I just didn't... What I didn't realise was, it's 35 degrees. So our tyres are about to get absolutely destroyed. And yet again, Aaron's brain is simply not working at the moment. But from a start perspective, we're up to P8... And we're going to cut Hamilton down. We're going to bring Hawkenberg back in after this first lap. We're going to make him pit and do a 1 2 2 2 2. Or 1 2 2 2. Whatever I said, if I remember which one's right. So, tyre management's going to be key around here. Let's see if we can just push past on. Hamilton, we can't trust yet. Hawkenberg dives into the pits. And Hamilton loses a spot. So Hawkenberg, no traffic at all as he comes out the pit, into the pit, sorry, and back out in P22. 
and we're going to cut down there. What about Hamilton? It's in P11 at the minute. Got to watch the tyres. It's getting cooler though, which means these tyres are a bit more drawable. We're going to have to cut down a bit soon. And we'll come in. So doing the opposite strategies on both here. Around that corner we come. And Hulkenberg then. Misses the carnage in the pits. And is P number 8. Hamilton. I'm hoping could have cleared some of these. But guess what? Aaron's luck means we are not. We're free of Brit. Out of the pits. And we're now going to boost. So... Messy pit stops. We knew that was a factor around Jeddo. It always is. And we're going to just boost and close this gap with Hulkenberg. Hamilton's got himself P15. So, can we get one more before the pit? We can't, but we're going to come in. Hamilton. Stuck behind Valtteri Bottas. We boost. We move through. And it is working, this parallel strategy, opposites. As Hawkingbird comes out, we'll boost briefly. And briefly, it puts us P10. A lot of traffic ahead. We're going to build Hamilton's up. Cooler all the time. 28 degrees now. As Hamilton wants to hurry up behind Hulkenberg. I'm not going to give it him just yet though. We're going to just have a nice saving lap for Hamilton. And he will come into the pits. So it's going to be chopping and changing all the time. As we've got one more lap to do. And we'll probably go mediums or soft. Hamilton, yeah, he's on the wrong pit time, isn't he? Clearly. So I don't even think I'm going to end up on the podium in this GP. It's been chaos. As Hulkenberg gets through, we're not going to have... I am going to go on to the mediums. And can we get some more positions? It's just, a, it's just one of them days. We're all, we all have them. We'll all have our bad runs. Absolutely, you know how it works. And we're following. The problem is, I think at the moment, we're following cars that are on the same strategies. And you can see, we just, we're just not quick enough at the moment today. And we're not even going to get anywhere decent points in Jeddah either. Look, we're just stuck behind them. Can't get through. And finally we do, but it's too late. It is far too late and we're just full of hard tyres around us. We're going to have to boost. See if we can just close down the gap a little bit. But hey-ho, we are definitely not going to get the podium. It'll be the first time this season that I don't think we're going to get a podium position. Hamilton's going to be near the back. Like, what an absolute tragic race. Deflation is a very key word right now. Uh, as we get P5, look, Hamilton's stuck behind Albon. Finally getting through. P14, though, for Hamilton. Yep, this weekend, just not good enough. Simple as that. 20 points for Hulkenberg. It's not going to be great for Hamilton, though, as he comes over the line. Sadly, it will be 12 points, 32 points altogether here in Jeddah. So, for race number eight, we move to Silverstone. Strong chance in Silverstone as always for 47 points. And it might just come down to a point for a podium position. So let's try 
and see if we can finish this video on a more positive note. It wasn't the weekend we were looking for. It's been a bit of a disaster, hasn't it? But ah, let's see if we can score some points in this race. So, Hawkenberg, last time I'm probably going to ever use you with your poor race start. Because that's what's cost us. Even though he gets... Quali look at the qualifying position. 13th. And already, Hamilton is not too far behind him. So, ultimately, I mean, Hamilton's had a bad start this time compared to the first race. And look at this. Look at... <laughs> what has happened to our cars today? Absolutely hammered out the back. Put the brakes on. Puts the anchors on. And it's only P11. Usually, first race everyone you didn't get to see we were p2 by the uh straight so that's a difference that suddenly happened and we suddenly start to struggle a lot more but we've got p9 we're going to cut down there rivals pushing they're going to come past us but we do manage to get well it was p8 but back up to p9 and it is going to be Hawkenberg coming in at the end of this lap. So more soft tyres. Now this is just getting so annoying. P10. Like, what am I doing? I haven't even put Hamilton back onto medium boost. Everything is just going wrong today. As Hawkenberg comes in. We get a move done. No, we can't. Of course we can't. And then Hulkenberg gets held briefly in the pits. Comes back out. And finally gets a bit of luck as he flies through. But Hamilton, not getting any luck. Can't get through. Here's P13 though. Yeah, usually we're so much higher than at this point. We're trying to get to P12, and we do. And we'll be coming into the pits. Come on, can we get back through this field? Hard tyres, we're going to get past. We're going to boost briefly, close that gap. A few people pitting, as you can see. And Hamilton's going to fly around the outside here. Nice and lovely. So just starting now, Hawkenberg looked like he's got the warm-up issues sorted. So is Hamilton. We're making a few positions. It's getting better. Couldn't get any worse, could it? Not going to get any. We're not going to get 47s this race, that's for sure. But Hawkenberg into the pits. Hard tyres of the rival pit. So a few people pitting now. And we're going to come in for some mediums at the end of this. Hulk couldn't get past Norris. But hopefully with the pit exit trick, we can. Yes, we can fly around. So. Six and eight for the moment. Fifth and eighth. We're trying. We are trying. We're going to boost and see if we can just jump past. We can. P4. And then we're going to come into the pits. And it's just myself coming in at that point. We've got Hulkenberg on Hulkenberg. Job done there. Hamilton with the quick pit stop. Coming back out. And he holds on to 7th place. And now we begin to motor. Can Hulkenberg fly past Hamilton? He can. P5. Can we get some decent points to finish off? After all, it's been carnage, but we're trying. Anyone coming in the pits? P1's in the pits. We're going to push hard. We're going to get P3. Hopefully, because it's a bot, we can overtake P4 here, and we can. Good moves. Well, now we've got the Ferrari. 
right ahead of us. Is there a chance that we sneak past P2? There is a strong chance because we're through. What about Hamilton? Is there one more position? Can we get P3? We can at the last second. And it is going to be a finish of the champs GP at the British GP. And it was probably my worst session of the season. Everything just didn't want to go right. We just couldn't overtake. We were going backwards, left, right and centre. And we had some very bad luck along the way too. So a massive drop in points today. Hopefully next week we get back to the sort of level that I expect from myself. Let's see what it does though. There you go. Look at that. 318 points. And if you think that's good, then it is still a good score. But considering... 348 yesterday we have dropped 30 points and it's all from that race too following that it was carnage but hey ho fingers crossed david gets p1 that would be that would just make the weekend so much better for me so fingers crossed for him and remember free to play account comes from tuesday appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next one